Greetings everyone, welcome back for another video. It's your one and only Andy here. Now as this video title entails, it's a haul video. I haven't done this in a while. I can't remember the last haul video that I actually did, maybe months ago. But uh, I've been incorporating the hauls inside my vlog videos. But if you want to check those out, you can. Uh, some people think it's interesting. Some people, may, I don't know. It's your opinion. So anyway, in this haul video, it's kind of sp special, unique. I think that's how you say it. But uh, there is one question. What is more addicting than Lego shopping? The answer is Lego shopping on whatnot. That is right, whatnot. If you're not familiar with whatnot, if I must put in simple terms, it's two words, online auction. Basically, instead of a physical auction where you sit down and you buy stuff off an auction, you're doing it online instead. And it is very, very addicting to a point where sometimes you can't stop because, well, it doesn't, um, this particular platform, it doesn't, does not only do Lego. There are plenty of stuff. You have Pokemon cards, baseball cards, football cards. Uh, I've seen people done um, Funko Pops. That's a pretty popular uh, category there that they saw on. But uh, in terms of Lego, there are particular, a lot of, a lot of sellers on there. And what's most interesting of all is that you can buy Lego anywhere, online, in-store, whatsoever. I mean, are you getting the best deals on whatnot? Um, yes and no, baby. Depends on what you're into, what you're interested in. What excites me most about whatnot is that the it's not the buying part. Well, it is actually the buying part, but the actual auction session that when you buy an individual item, it's just, uh, it gets you excited because uh, you never know how much you're gonna end up with buying a particular minifigure or a set. And it's just very exciting because your adrenaline is pumping because if you see an, an individual thing that you want, you want to get it, but then but other, people's, other people are bidding on it too. So you want to get on top of it. And instead of like, you know how eBay, when they do auctions, when it's like the last couple, three to five seconds, you got someone coming in and sniping you. And well, what not has a option for sellers to do is like, if someone's tried to snipe in the last, last down, down to the last seconds, they, someone else comes in and bid they add on an extra few seconds. So it gives you a little bit of time to, uh, for you to bid back. So you won't lose that item easily. And that's what's most exciting about the whatnot platform in terms of buying Lego. Again, yeah, you might get the good deal. You might not get a good deal. Again, really depends on what you're having. So in terms of Lego, I mainly go there to support the people that I know. And there are two individuals that I uh, buy things off of. We have Dave from Scott's Toys and Ronnie from Builder Buds, aka Ronnie Resells, aka. Ronnie, help me out here. Do you have any more AKAs? Let me know. But uh, these two guys are phenomenal. These are fantastic guys. Good friends from the Brickatech this Brick Discord. I'm losing my words today. And uh, I'm great to happy to support these guys whatsoever. And uh, I got a variety of things from the past auctions that they did. So we're going to, I'm going to show off today what that I actually bought from them. And since it's been number of auctions already, and this video was well overdue. So what I plan to do is break this into a two part video for, so for this in, individual video we're going to do Dave's hauls first and then the next one we're going to do Ronnie's and without further ado before I bore you out and you click away let's do this let's show off what I got from Dave's haul
All right, what I have in front of me here is a whole minifigure lot from the past auctions from Dave. And I'm just going to show them off one by one, I guess. In no particular order, maybe separated by themes. So we're going to start off with some Disney... Not Disney. Lego Movie 2. Already butchering it. From the start, we have a candy wrapper. That's a very nice minifigure. I like that. This hair piece is just phenomenal. And uh, it comes with a mic and a cassette tape. And uh, we have Battle Ready Lucy here. I, I don't think I paid attention much when I watched Lego Movie 2. So I'm not very familiar with these characters. So shame on me. Maybe I'll go back and watch it another time when I get when I'm in the mood to and we have the lion here it'll be nice to collect the entire Wizard of Oz characters I really wanted the Tin Man particularly and I pulled these I bought these from blind bags from Dave's auctions and uh they're pretty good again would have been a been cool to get a few more maybe in the future and then next up, we have a castle theme. Pretty old school. We have this soldier here. Look at that shield piece. With the dragon there, that is just cool. And uh, you don't have, they don't make these anymore. So it's nice to... He had quite a bit of these in his auction. So I was lucky enough to get one of them. And I'm not going to tell you... Well, at least I don't remember how much it costs for each of these individual figures but uh it's kind of like figures that i don't have and uh at least it's you can't really get these anywhere anymore or at least not a majority of them so it's great to snag these off of his auctions and uh this one was one of my favorites it's a uh, detective kind of gives me the uh sherlock home vibes with a nice magnifying glass like oh yeah it works too and uh, we have this uh, little kid here with a broom I think this is um, Dave and his wife Lori kind of came up with this with the individual minifigures with accessories and uh, I won this in one of the auction items he came with a broom and I told my told them uh, this will be a nice janitor to my police building lock and we have a baseball player. I'm a big baseball fan. And uh, I wish they could make more of these. Maybe I can uh, make a baseball team out of this whole lot. Yep. Up next, we got Harry Potter. We have Dumbledore. That's a very nice one. I think, which series is it? I don't, I don't remember. Is this series one or series two? If you know, let me know. And we have the one that we don't say his name. And that's... Yeah, yeah, you know, you get what I mean. And then we have Disney theme, one of my favorites. And I didn't get a lot, but we have Jasmine here. Jasmine has a nice, good-looking figure with the little birdie that he has. Yeah. That's nice. And one of the favorites of all that I managed to grab from a blind bag is Buzz, Buzz Lightyear. And I'm Andy. Of course I would have a Buzz Lightyear in my collection, right? And uh, and it's in pretty good shape, I should say. Now I need a Woody. I need a Woody to complete it. And because you can't have Buzz without Woody, right? They, they go hand in hand. They go to... They go together. And uh, next we have Ninjago. I'm not sure what character this is. And uh, it looks pretty cool. That's why I decided to go for it. And you don't get to see a lot of these. I think. Any. And then we're going to go with Star Wars. And uh, sometimes I'm looking here. Sometimes I'm looking there. I don't know what I'm doing. We have a Bomb Squad Trooper. If that. If I know saying it correctly and uh, we have angry pissed off clone face of course yeah uh he dave claimed this wasn't in the best condition i think there was a crack somewhere but um 
I never have one of these individual bomb squat uh, clones in my collection so that's a pretty neat one to add and then next up we have a C-3PO C-3PO and uh, I don't have a C-3PO in my collection so it's good to have one here yeah nice nice and uh, one of my favorites of all a Gungan Gungans are one of my favorite types in the Star Wars movies uh, I wish it was Jar Jar because I'm a big Jar Jar fan. Misa, yes, they need it. Misa left Jar Jar. Too much? Yeah, probably. But uh, nice to have this. Maybe I can like snag a few more Gungans down the road so I can have like an army. You know, like recreate uh, episode one somehow with the war. Because I have enough droids, clankers, so might as well. And we have Batman theme next. We have one of the uh, Joker goons. It's a very nice color. And uh, oh, wow, I did not notice it in the beginning. But uh, they have a nice picture of the Joker in the back there. It's a nice figure. I like it. Can have a couple more. We can have a nice little group here for Joker. And we have Commissioner Gordon here, one of my favorite figures from the series one or series series one, I believe. Yes, and uh, too bad he's just missing in his accessories, but it should not be hard to get it, I assume. And this one, this one is, um, in particularly pretty unique and you might be shocked but this is probably one of my favorite ones that I snagged from Dave's auction we have not a minifigure but a mini doll and it's not just any mini doll it's Harley Quinn check that out look at that nice pattern here and with those uh nice mix of colors you always have when you see Harley Quinn she's a very fun character so it's nice to have all these like Different variety of colors, red, blue, black. I mentioned red already, but uh, it is very nice. But uh, I have no problems with mini dolls. And uh, I do I do build friend sets, so that's nice. So uh, that's like a well good amount of minifigs here. And um, there's more, actually. And of course, we have more minifigures here from the lot. We have a variety of Lego City police and robbers, which a few of them, I believe, Dave threw in there as a nice gesture. So, Dave, if you're watching, thank you for those again. And we have Spider-Man, a snow trooper. And uh, we have this guy. This guy is a special one because in one of Dave's auctions, he has these blind bags which is a chase figure. And if you want a chase figure, there are special prize that come with them. And if you bid big, Dave will return big. And he certainly did. I forgot how much I paid for this, but uh, it's good enough for him to offer me something even better. And uh, when he asked me, what theme am I interested in? And so I just, out of randomness, I decided to say Star Wars, and you can never guess what he got me well you can guess but probably not this one i have this this retired set the death star final duel this is what i actually won from able to snag a chase figure from one of his blind bag games and uh when he asked me i said star wars and uh, this is one of the options that he provided so when i saw this oh heck yeah i'm gonna take it and uh it's nice although it is not a sealed set as you can see it is open but all the bags are sealed as he indicated and it is sealed well all the bags are sealed but so it's complete so it's no big deal for me because i'm gonna build this i'm not gonna sell it or anything and uh it's a nice it's a nice one and uh, i don't have a palpatine figure yet so another nice addition in the star wars collection so dave thank you again for this this is probably one of the big the big jackpot 
from his auctions in the past. And last but not least, we have one more set. And uh, it's a nice Batman buildable figure. Here's the front. Yes. And uh, I've seen this in past uh, websites, uh, eBay, Mercari. Been kind of wanting to get it. And when Dave had it, no brainer. I'm a big Batman fan, so I can't say no to this. So it's nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to build it yet. It just Right now, I'm just keeping it inside the box and having it nicely displayed in the shelves. In the storage cubes back there, along with other Batman theme sets. So it looks great on display. So I'm going to keep it there for now. And uh, folks, that's going to be it for Dave's haul from whatnot and in the next video the next episode we're gonna do ronnie's oh when we're gonna do ronnie's it's gonna be a big one so uh hang in there and we'll see you next time and in the meantime keep on building i'll look forward to seeing you in the next video My, my, how can I forget one of the best parts of this haul? So Dave's wife, Lori, she's very creative and talented, and she managed to make these very nice customized magnets. And when you buy a certain amount from Dave's auctions, they throw in a free magnet. And we're just going to show them off because they're really good. We have uh, Wilson from the Castaway film. Oh, that's very nice. And uh, we have a Facebook jail inmate repeat offender. Now oh, that's very good. And um, oh, this one. This <laughs> Holy Spirit activate. Holy Spirit activate. I mean, when they showed that Family Feud video, which I had no clue that video existed, this was stuck in my head for a while and we've been saying it ever since in in their auctions this is very cool and uh oh no 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 we do not talk about bruno oh no no and now uh, this is a very good one let's see if i can do it correctly i saw that <laughs> uh, genius genius and I mentioned before, I'm a big Jar Jar fan, so you cannot not have Jar Jar magnets. And these are magnificent. We have depression one. Oh, and uh, when you realize everyone hates you, why? Such a lovable character. I just don't get it. Nissan Levin. And, uh, oh, muy, muy, I love you. Annie, is that you? And uh, Jar Jar Binks ruined Star Wars. What? That's the last thing Misa wants. Uh, Misa wanting. And these are very good to stick on the fridge and overall very nice. So that is the end of Dave's haul. And we're going to leave it here. And this is very fun. Overall, a very fun experience on whatnot. And uh, we're going to go with Ronnie's next, as I said. So stay tuned for that one. See you guys later. Bye-bye.